why you might not want to eat egg whites every single day, including egg white protein powder. I'm Marissa Fay, a hormone and gut health expert for women. I help women reverse and reduce their symptoms with natural methods. I've been sharing a lot on here recently about dietary approaches that tend to work really well for women who have hormone issues or gut health issues. And I was asked a question about protein powders, which I answered in this video that I will tag within the description of this video. And I've been asked clarifying questions, one of them being, why do I not recommend egg white protein powder? And this is a fantastic opportunity to talk more about food sensitivities. So food sensitivities happen when there's something going on generally in your gut that's causing inflammation or causing an imbalance and your immune system is primed to be reactive. Then from there, your body tends to create a reaction to foods that you're eating pretty frequently. And there are certain foods that based on how they tend to be raised or grown tend to have more capability to agitate your system. And egg whites tend to be one of those foods. So one of the things that I generally teach all of my clients and students in the Balanced Hormone Blueprint is food rotation. Meaning if you look at a particular week or a month, you're not eating the same thing every day. Now I know that's hard because it's really easy to get into a routine and maybe meal prep an entire week or two weeks even. But I teach people who work with me this method of food rotation that actually can work really well where you prep things that last for a couple of days and then you change it up. And so because of how most of us use protein powders where we get in the habit of using it daily or almost daily, I don't recommend choosing one that's made from something that your body could easily develop an issue with. And I have questions about how something like an egg white protein is made. I've never seen a pasture raised egg white protein powder and conventional eggs tend to have some issues with them. Now, if what you can afford to buy at the grocery store are conventional eggs, that's okay, do what you can, right? But then don't go ahead and expose yourself in such a concentrated way to something like that. The concentrated way being in a protein powder where it's super concentrated. Did you know also that there is a difference between a food sensitivity and a food intolerance? Let me know in the comments if you're interested in hearing more about that.